Well, hey everybody, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. How we doing? Look at that. Look at these beauties. Yes. Flipping around. We've got stuff to talk about today. We are back in the garden. We're back online. Things are happening. So stay tuned. We're going to cover some really cool stuff. Hey everybody, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. Welcome back to the garden. Not quite a sundown hoedown like I usually do, but this is uh, before the sun goes down, of course. I uh, want to do a little quick garden update, show you what's going on. Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything gardeny on Small Scale Life, and as you can tell, things are completely different. So, let's walk you through it. If you remember last year, I had two square foot garden beds, one here, one here. And those had trouble. Of course I'm recording and there's a plane going over. Why not, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, those had trouble. Uh, I had problems with slugs. I had problems with um, cabbage worms. I had problems with leaf miners. I had problems. And then I had Karma the Wonder Dog that jumped in them a couple times too. So I decided to come up with a new plan. Uh, probably one of the biggest things I had problem with, however, problems with, however, were the roots. So I have a maple tree back there. I have a maple tree right there. And maple trees have some really wicked roots, shallow roots. And if I dig up under this mulch here, I can actually show you some of those roots, but I'll put some pictures on the end here. So I had to demo those old garden beds. They had reached the end of their life. The chicken wire truly was holding them together. The chicken wire that I put in place to keep Karma the Wonder Dog, yes you, out of it. But we have new garden beds. So it came up with a new concept. And uh, actually it's an old concept. But uh, I have two wicking beds, one here, one here. These are self-watering planter systems. There's actually water, you kind of see the snorkel right there, what I call the Spirko snorkel. So there's, there's water down in the bottom, a small sand layer, and the rest is soil, growing soil. So it's a big soil block with water underneath. It self waters. And it's doing really, really, really great. So this one is the same, self watering system. And it's been super hot today, so some of the plants, like this rhubarb over here, is just looking, looking rough been feeling it. And I think some of the potatoes here have been feeling it too. But uh, these are two self-watering systems, brand new. There's going to be no problems from roots because the roots can't come in. These are galvanized steel. There's no chance for the roots to get in these systems. I have a third system. This one right over here. This is kind of is based on, it's not kind of, it is, based on a system Larry Hall designed and invented the hybrid rain gutter grow system. But as you can tell, there's no rain gutters involved here. So I am calling this a self-watering basin. And really what happens is water goes in the middle and or goes in the trough. And these are grow bags. And the water wicks up into the, into the plants. So you can see how moist the, water, the soil is. I'm kind of letting it dry out here. Um, you can see I do have some weeds popping up. This is this is soil from my old uh, compost bed. So we're gonna have some seeds in here. I'm slowly but surely eliminating those. Um, but I can fit all of these peppers. And it's pretty exciting because I'm getting peppers already. You can see them there. But uh, I've got some peppers here. Some uh, These are red peppers right here. Yeah, believe it or not. And some jalapenos are coming. So, uh, and that's a banana pepper right over here. Look at that. So this, these systems are rocking. And look at this. Well, I've got a maple tree coming up here, but I've got a white pine that is growing right here. So you can do all kinds of plants in these. I just chose peppers because I know they love this kind of system from past experience. In these beds, are a little different as well. I mean, they've got onions. I've got tomatoes going. And look at these tomatoes. They are coming like crazy. 
there's a bunch of different varieties um, early girls are here and uh, they're just coming along I've got green beans pole beans actually no these are the pole beans coming here so I've got to get my trellis in place getting some new growth I was having some slug problems but I think my slug mitigation it's kind of this fuzz stuff you can see on here uh, worked I haven't seen any new slugs I'll come and check that tonight um, I've got some carrots coming I've got uh, <laughs> another maple tree here here uh, they've been bad this year but I've got cucumbers here um, and you saw those seeds at the beginning of the, the video those are gonna fill in some of these gaps where the seeds didn't germinate so onions are looking great tomatoes are looking great peas yes please so these are all the peas all the peas look at these peas look at it they love it they love it and uh, these are peas that I grew from seed. These ones I got from my friend Jim, and they've been, they're a little more mature, but they're coming along too. And then I've got the potatoes. Potatoes have been rocking. So yeah, things are really happening. I need to add some more soil, let these grow, let them make tomato, potatoes, you know, let them do their thing. That's what I want. I'm just curious. I can see anything as I dig down here but I just added a bunch of soil here you can see I mean it's not dry it's got moisture in it and uh, this particular bed I have had some issues with yeah the, the water level is actually like right down in here so I might need to add some water to this but there's a slow leak in it I believe but the plants don't care they're getting enough they're looking good and uh, I'm really excited about this so I've got some plants left over from earlier this year and uh, I'm going to build another smaller planter just to show you that it can be any size. So I've got a couple tomato plants, lots of peppers, um, we're going to grow, put in a small patio salsa garden. I think you'll really like that. That's the next project I've got. I've got some green onions there. Um, <clears throat> we'll make that happen. So. I want to show you that you can do this in a very small space. Like this is a two by seven, two by four, you can do it. You can do it and you can grow food no matter where you're at. So I'm pretty excited about this whole process. Uh, things are rocking and rolling and uh, it makes me excited because you know, when you see an experiment, you dream it and you think about it and then it comes up, comes in and happens and uh, <laughs> you just gotta go with it. It's so much fun and uh, it's fun to grow. It's fun to see lots of things happening in the garden. And uh, that's interesting. So just looking here, it's either from a bird or a hornworm and I don't see damage from a hornworm. It's funny, every time I do a video, <clears throat> I find different things to, check in the garden <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty excited things are really coming along I mean come on guys things are rocking you can do this you can have a wicking bed you can make this happen all right this is Tom from small scale life hope your garden is doing great hope things are rocking and rolling I'll start the build so you can see how to do this and maybe start this on your own too and uh, and get excited about the self-watering systems. You can build this if you're in an apartment, if you're in a condo, if you're anywhere, you can build this and make and grow, grow food. You can do it. All right, everybody, this is Tom. If you like this video, if you wanna see more, hit subscribe, hit the little bell if you want notifications. We've got more stuff coming and uh, we are excited that you're here, excited to be doing what we do. Got some great podcasts coming on budgeting so you can make this all happen and not go broke. You can add, you can, this was all built, this was all done because we budgeted and we planned for it. And we got, we had cash and we made it happen. And you can do that too. So check those out, uh, got podcasts coming this week. And thanks for tuning in to this garden update. We'll make more. <laughs> this was just great and it's just getting going. So get excited. All right, everybody, this is Tom. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Remember, learn, do, grow, and be a, bit, a little better every day. Talk to you later. Bye.
please hit subscribe and hit the little like button.